everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are going mowing where, well, I mowed it last year and I talked it last year, but I think one of the fields has never really been mowed before because of stones. And we're going to chance mowing it. We have heaps of grass ahead of the cattle, particularly the bulls, and it's there's, there's a meadow ahead of them. So we're going down and we're going to be mowing out the sections of the two fields that I'm pretty confident are safe to mow. We'll show you why I can't mow all of the fields when we get down there. We're mow, we'll show you when we get down there, but we're going to take away the surplus grass. We're going to bale it up this evening. We're going to mow a bit for another man. He only has a couple of eight, two acres, something like that. And bale all up this evening because the weather broke and it hasn't really changed since. It's just broken weather. Yesterday evening was dry. Today is to be dry. The grass won't be over dry. But if we get it knocked, we give it all day and then we roll it up maybe around two, three o'clock, bale it up around six o'clock. The hope is that it'll have dried out somehow. But there's a very wet day tomorrow. So yeah, it's not ideal conditions for being at silage, but we have to make do with what we have. And now I have to navigate, Roy's just helping me through calves here. So. We had to give the calves this end, we're mowing the other end of where the wire is and where there's some calves broke out onto. But we can't mow this side because there is some mahoose of stones. I'll show you when we get in, but we're going to mow this one last because this one will be the most uh, dangerous to mow. Because I didn't actually mow this last year. I never get her way in through calves now. But, um, anyways, the dries of it. So, you can see that stone there. That would sober any more. And there's quite a few of them throughout that section there. When I topped this field last year where it was grazed very tight, that section there, I, me I memorized where I needed to be to be able to get away with it. Uh, but um, yeah, stones like that would just destroy them more. And there's quite a few in them in this section. So, I'm just trying to get across the wire here now. That's why we won't be mowing all the field. Just get across the wire now. Grand job. Right, let's chat Roy there for a second. So this is what we're mowing out here. So you can see it's gone real stemmy. There's a good thick butt to it. And it's just too heavy. We let the bulls out here on this, which their next spot are just there. They'll be coming across into here. Most of this is going to get tramped into the ground. It's going to be wasted. But if we mow it and freshen it off, we have the back horse. I won't be mowing this hill or bit of a mound here because there's some big stones, big knobbly bits sticking out. I will be mowing the other side of the hill and there's probably a better crop of grass the other side of the mound. But even with them bits mowed off, there's still nearly a week's grazing there for them. And it's the same when we do out there, but we just want to clean this off, make the bales. You can see the grass is, she's still wet like, but it's to be a good day, good lively day, so hopefully it dries itself off quite well. But yeah, this is what we're mowing, this is what we're doing. So we get stuck into it. There's a big bang and hop she hopped to a lump of bog oak. Didn't hit that last year, but I suppose last year, see the calves grazed that bit, so we were running all up and down that way. But um, yeah, lump of bog oak. There's another big come up over there that has seen, that I have to remember for next year. But we'll just double check that no harm has been done. Everyone was running smooth after the fact. Yeah, no, all's there. All the blades are still on her. All seems fine. Yeah, good to keep going. Jan, this is all the floodplain. This all floods during the winter. Fucking you know, whatever way a call has um, 
will hold it just as handy. Yeah, it's not too bad a crop on a bit like this side, heavier over the other side. It's really just where the water lies most, or where the last bit of water dried off, really. Another lump of bog oak. I suppose we could do something in the shop with these at some stage, because there's absolutely no shortage of it. Go back more, and hopefully that's the last bit we get. And now that's the first section done, so you can see there's a lovely crop here. A bit lighter that hen, but there's a lovely crop this end. So now we'll go around the hen and we mow the other side. I uh, didn't hit hen except for that bit of bog oak, so hopefully we get a clean run on the other side. Um, as I said, yeah, I'm not going to touch this bit here because it's should be bad with stones now. It should be very bad with stones. So trying to remember where I mowed to the last time. I think I went in somewhere here. So I'm going to put down the camera, concentrate on what I'm doing and um, get this down. And that one is mowed. So now that's both sides of the hill done. So now we'll go out there and we'll see what we can do. I've never mowed out there before. I don't think it has ever been mowed and baled before. On my time anyways, I vaguely remember either Uncle Ian or Father Phil say something about bringing hay could have been bringing hay from some of these fields, maybe it was hay on that field, bringing it up and getting stuck with the 20 back, back, back in the day. But um, we'll go out and we'll see what we can get done. And hopefully, fingers crossed, not make sure you do more. Because there's some big stones out there. I mentally mapped where they all are, they're all at that end. So, yeah, fingers crossed. And now, that's it, mode. So there are a few docks in this bit, but it's not too bad. So the maze is looking real well. We'll be doing our um, yearly uh, crop walk at some point in the next few weeks, but Father Phil says in the middle of it, it's just as high as them. So yeah, not too bad a crop now. But we got all mowed. Didn't hit a thing. Maybe a few loose stones over that side, but this is all perfect. And everything we mowed today is all underwater during the winter. It's all, all this is underwater. But the mowed up lovely, there's a nice, there's a nice pick of stuff on it now. So it should, should be grand old stuff now. It's look it. Let the bulls out on it. We're gonna tramp it in. And it's not gonna grow back right, but we'll take this off and we'll have a few bales off it. And the bulls will graze it. What we didn't mow. Once the bulls have it out, we'll see, can we top it? It's just, I'm not sure. I remember when I topped this last year, I was like, yeah, there's nothing here. Second post up from, or third post up from that pole, post up from the drinker below, she's sound. But when we get the bulls out here grazed, and we try and maybe top it, and we'll see, can we do more? But now it's time to try and get out to the calves. We're all patiently waiting, even though Rory come down and fed them get me out but oh whenever we get out here now the boys are looking well now what they're on was too strong for them but with this bit of mowing and that done now we'll be able to bring on some real nice bit of grass for them which will be they'll be wanting no big panic on yees now we'll try and figure out how we're gonna get by this and we'll see how that works right onward and upward finished mowing for customer it's a tight bit of ground now it's a rough bit of ground but we didn't hit anything so that's a bonus but it's rough and that's why we mowed with the John Deere today and not the big moors I, I could have easily mowed with the big moors done it in less than half the time but do I want to risk running the big moors through maybe stones bog blocks and stuff like that no nope. But that's why we use the John Deere. But one of the big things that I really like about the John Deere is she lifts on the wheels. There's two rams in the wheels and that lifts the bed. So when you let down the more, you can lift her back up that she's just bobbing on the ground. And that makes the bed very weightless. So if you do hit hen, she pops up really quick. And so one of the things I really like about for doing them dodgy bits of ground, it just leaves her, she, I, I feel like she's that bit safer. But, that's the mowing done now, so we'll be back bailing around 6 o'clock and we'll see how we get on. But um, yeah, that's why we still have the John Deere. She's handy for jobs like this where 
ground is in St. Paul, but anyways, go bailing. And we're in the 7618 and it is time to go bailing. So, it's just gone 5 o'clock, I sent bro down about 20 minutes ago, start rowing. We were humming in hand, we're looking at the sky. Do you leave it another hour? Do you not? Do you chance it? Do you not? And we said, feck it. There's not much more going to be gained in an hour. So we're better off make a start, just in case some of them clouds will bring rain. The forecast was to give maybe a slightly better day than what has come. It's been quite overcast. It was given a kind of a sunshine day. There has been a good breeze, so it should have wilted or dried to some extent. So yeah, we're just going to get not straight into it now and um, get the bales brought up and stacked and get it done, get it done. But yeah, just, it's like, leave it, don't leave it. We're on our way down and we're gonna get it wrapped up. I think that's the best plan. So we're down here now, it's a bit windy. Rory's just trying to fence back the calves, but um, this is our grass, it's very windy. It actually has dried up quite well, wilted quite nicely. Um, yeah, look at it, it still is, there is still a good bit of moisture in it, but you know, it's not too bad. I think for a day's drying, the wind is out there doing its thing. You know, I don't think we're going to get much better. It's to rain tonight. And that sky has cleared off a little bit, but we're here now, we'll wrap it up and be done with it. So. Just check my netter is where it needs to be. Found an extra one. Hey. And away we go. Bailing away here now. Bailing away the finest. Nice crop on it now. Nice crop of stuff going in. And the ground is holding up perfect. Especially when you consider during the winter this ground does be all flooded. So, yeah, happy days now. Happy days. Bales seem to be good and square. Good square round bales. Up, out comes the bale. Down. So, bro is just about finished rowing there. So, going to um, get Eric to show Troy just how stacking bales and that, just to show them how I want it done and um, yeah, try to get the bales brought in while I get the baling done and then me and bro will bay on to the next customer and get his few acres, eh? it's two acres in it, it's not a lot but look at the bales all the same, we get that wrapped up for him too, we keep the bales off now just not to be carrying too much weight, don't want to chance me luck now, but anyways, I'm just flying it there now, flying it. So, Bro is just giving try a tra uh, crash course and bringing in bales. This is a handy job just for for try to get in on doing a bit of tractor driving, just bringing them up the pass to the yard. So it's one of them things. It's a great way of just getting in on how to drive and how to operate machinery in a safe environment. Anyways, we bail on to the next bit. So we had six bales, nearly had a seven bale. Not bad going. Next bits are heavier. And definitely the other side of the hill is the heaviest bit to be done. So we'll go out, we'll see what the crack is. Jeez, there was a big stone I just skinned across. And that was a lucky one. I'm here to steal the show. I'm here to steal the show. I'm here to steal the show. You can make it. Bailing away out here. So we had 10 bales the other side of the hill, 6 bales there, 16 bales, 2 bales here so far. And away there to finish. Now, the one thing some people may say, oh, you didn't mow that very well. But that is just down to the way I mowed it. I kept the John Deere mower just barely touching the ground, so it was never going to mow it that well. But that was just to protect the mower from hitting it. As you've seen, we hit the ball go hit a couple of stones over that side but that's just to try and avoid them and yeah it doesn't mow that well when you do that but at the same time it's better mow it and get these lock of bales off it than have the cattle tramp it in so but yeah well that's what now we're, we're doing all right now we're, we're tipping away here i think um 
Crying bro have all the bales brought in off that field. So my push is too high at the minute. But um yeah, flying away here. And that's us done. 29 bales. Just 29 bales. Just beat that me picking up the last of the spore. So very happy with that. Very happy with that. It's a nice number of bales to have. I'll take them off I get them in the Save me. Stopping again. But um no, very happy. It's 30 bales more than we had then yesterday. It's 30 bales less for the cattle to tramp into the ground. And it's nice stuff. You know, it's 100% happy out. Calves have decided to come out and you know, you, you know they know they're not supposed to be here when they square up and look at you like, I'm not supposed to be here. But um, yeah, they got out on us. But anyways, I oh, will put them back. Try bringing in the bales there. I'm gonna be on to the next man. And yeah, all will be good. But one thing though, we didn't mow Everton obviously because it's so, it's just rocky. Some of it, there's rocks in it and it's just, I don't know where they all are. It's not worth the hassle of hitting them. Mow, I know is safe. And these bits that we've mowed out there, the first bit we bailed, that's the first time that's ever been mowed. I can ever remember. That's a first. Here we've mowed it. That side of the hill, it's the second year in a row it's been mowed. And I've never been mowed before that that I know of. And this field, Uncle Ian mowed three years ago when we made a lot of hay. And I was like, oh, I can mow this now. I'm going to mow it. But one thing, someday it'll happen is I want to be able to mow all the fields at the house with the butterfly mowers. I don't want to be having to say, well, I have to mow that one into John Deere because it's done. So I want all to get receded, level, picked, clay brought to where there's them big boulders sticking up out of the ground and all leveled. It's all mowable. And we've started it. The well field where we've done our multi-species swore, just looking at it there, it's lovely and green at the minute. When you go down in another video and have a look, when we're actually beside it, but it's greening up lovely there, looking real nice. That couldn't be mowed before, now it is. And every year the plan is to do the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, and so on and so forth till we make it to the shrubbery, which wouldn't be the worst, but it's not great. There's a lot of big stones coming up. We used to be able to mow it, but we can't mow it anymore because there's been big stones that have come up in it. But by the time I get to this field here, the first field I bailed, next year one year two year three year four year five years so it's going to be four to five years before we get into this field and um, this field the far field bottoms as we call it, it as it does but what has to be done when we get here is a spray off a harrowing and then the biggest end of it is bring clay down to where them big boulders are and once we do our spraying off we get out well and we'll know where them boulders are and we can put the clay level piles of clay over them to cover them up and put lots of clay down we should have with all the building and that that we're going to be doing out with, with the farm shop and leveling up a pad for parking we're going to have the clay to be able to do that we just have to bring it down this far but yeah so yeah it's going to take me if i do this one this will be year five six seven eight nine nine years to get around all the fields the plan but well, as I said, that's a nine year project. That's longer than I've been on YouTube. By the time, if it takes nine years, I will be 36 when that's done. So yeah, that's a scary thought. But anyways, we will be on to the next man. We'll see how Troy's getting on. And um, yeah, happy days. And that is the tractor and baler back in the shed. So I'm going to drop off the baler there now. On the top and go top another bit for the evening. Troy is just, uh, how many bales live? five bales left to bring up so happy out anyways yeah that's really it so 29 bales done a bit and hopefully a few years time i might actually be able to take the butterflies down the bottoms to mow excess grass that's the one thing that we just every year kind of catches us out on a lot of the bottoms is the grass gets too strong it goes to stem. We can't really do anything with it except for let the cat leave it. Anyways, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's it for me.